Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. My name is Daniel O. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to utilize a micrometer matrix for Quarkus application runtime. As you probably know, the micrometer matrix provides some kind of interface for timers, gauges, and counter distribution summaries, and long task timer with a dimensional data model. When paired, the dimensional modeling system allows the efficient access to particular named metry with the ability to read down across in dimension on your running application. So for example, Quarkus already provides the microprofile metry, but also uh, you can use the micrometer metric on your Quarkus application. Let's get into the demo. Okay, this sample application, I already pulled down Quarkus micrometer registry Prometheus extension ahead of time. In the simple application, implement an algorithm for checking your number is prime or not. And this algorithm exposes also RESTful API just like a number. And when you input the number using the RESTful API, this micrometer application uh, checking uh, that uh, number is prime or not along with this uh, business logic. So the first number from one to three, uh, we're gonna have some specific static logic but the after that number we got some uh divide the number one or two or three and then we consider this is a prime and then there are the highest prime variable you can print the highest prime uh, while you input the number all right so let's try to run uh, this application using quarkus dev mode because we're going to keep changing this application but as you see uh, we don't add any micrometer uh, business logic at this moment uh, just, I, just, I just edited the a micrometer uh, registry parameter extension. So just make sure the application running and then go to print the uh, number as RESTful UI because I want to just checking the this application is working for uh, checking the prime number. As you see, there are uh, 350 is not prime number, one is prime number, and this is a, a quite big number is prime. Okay, this is my application functionality totally working. And you will go to matrix because the I already edited uh, micrometer registry promise extension. That's why you can see all metrics here, along with the JVM uh, metric, like a uh, memory and the uh, CPU. And also you can find the HTTP server uh, connection or max, so all about the more infrastructure layer metrics here. This is your default. Uh, metrics the Quarkus provider when we edited the Quarkus Micrometer Registry Prometheus extension. This is really awesome. All right, so next step, uh, we're gonna add the micrometer uh, uh, capability on the our application. So in order to do that, we need to uh, specify uh, the registry, the meter registry, uh, which allows our application uh, to uh, store the metric data into micrometer registry. In order to do that, uh, we just define the meter, metri uh, meter registry and also we're going to define the constructor uh, to set up this registry as the uh, local uh, attribute with the print some gauge uh, with a specific name like a prime number max and uh, this number and then we're gonna prime resource and uh, highest observable prime number. We're gonna define uh, one more thing. We're gonna add the counter uh, as the store your metry. So for example, uh, when you invoke 10 times to this restful API, we're gonna uh, store the metry with the prime number test uh, with, uh, in this application using micrometer capability. So basically uh, you can print the counter gauge timer I already said earlier for your metric. Okay, so go back to uh, endpoint because the dev mode is already running, we don't need to restart and I try to invoke a several time uh, to hit a prime number. And the one, two is not a prime number and the 350 is not a prime number. Let's try to uh, give it a try with some biggest uh, number which is prime. So uh, this number is a prime and I go back to our metric uh, and the point you can find the prime number test second count is one because we have only one second uh, the prime number uh, during the test and then when you try to uh, add more uh, invoke that 
uh, we got some more uh, hit number is will be increased. So let's try to uh, invoke several time and uh, the refresh the applic uh, endpoint of a metric, and you you can see uh, the prime number test second te uh, second count increase too. So whenever you hit the uh, more prime, you, whenever you find the more number using RESTful API, this metric will be increased. So let's try to uh, uh, go to the parameters I already running on my local machine, and then you go to the prime number max, and then we can find the max number. We print the RESTful API, and then there's another and metric data like a second second count. We gotta have uh, more than uh, two, uh, something like that. Try to hit a more time, there were several times, and go back to metric uh, endpoint. Uh, we can find here uh, there are uh, the test count is seven, uh, which he, uh, means we have found a seven prime number. And go back to Prometheus Web UI and the click on the execute once again, the same metric. Uh, we can show that. And here the cloud found to visualize your Prometheus metric. And I try to add a new data source from uh, Prometheus. I'm gonna running on a container uh, with the Prometheus and Grafana. That's why I'm gonna need to make sure the endpoint of Prometheus here. So I'm gonna use the uh, running the uh, Prometheus using on top of the, my MacBook. So I just copy and target an endpoint and I paste here the URL and then. Uh, just click on save and test this data source. Uh, it looks working. And I try to add a new uh, panel, uh, find out the prime keyword, and you can find the prime max and the prime number and the second count. Click on that, you can find uh, this few times it's increased, uh, just like we saw in uh, Prometheus and a Quarkus symmetric dashboard. And try to uh, find another prime number like a seven and a few more times. And then go back to our Prometheus UI, you can find the increased metrics in a graph. And then go back to uh, Grafana dashboard is, uh, will be uh, will be increased because it takes a little bit time to uh, gather and aggregate all metrics from Prometheus. As you see, your uh, dashboard is just going up to level. Okay, in order to recap, today we learned about how to use a micrometer uh, metric on your Quarkus application to print some gauge and counter timer when you uh, call your method and specific logic. Uh, it will be also exposed to Prometheus and Visualize Graphana dashboard. Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of the day.